The coronavirus is continuing to spread in China. It has now killed more than 600 people. 150 students at the U of I are from the Wuhan, China area. Now, a law professor says he feels the university isn't doing enough to keep other students from getting infected. WC93's Courtney Bunting is live outside the McKinley Health Center there on campus. So, Courtney, what has the university done so far? Jennifer, leaders at the McKinley Health Center did contact all of those 150 students from the Wuhan, China area. They told them to come to the center here if they were exhibiting signs of the coronavirus. Now, they also said in a letter to all students that many, quote, many of those students from Wuhan had not traveled home over winter break. Those who did, they said, either chose to self-quarantine, monitor themselves, or wear a surgical mask. Now, as of about two weeks ago, this university said no student Students were showing any signs of the virus. However, Francis Boyle, a law professor at U of I, believes that's not enough. He says the information the university sent to students was vague. For example, he says when they said many of 150 students didn't travel home, that wasn't a specific amount. And he says they gave students the choice to quarantine themselves or not, and he believes that should be a mandatory quarantine because that's the standard for anyone traveling to the U.S. from the Wuhan area. Boyle says he's frustrated. If they want to wear a surgical mask walking around campus, that's just fine with the U of I. If they don't, that's fine too. If they want to run around this campus and spread the coronavirus, there is a two-week incubation period for the virus, so only those who have traveled to the Wuhan, China area within that amount of time are at risk. The symptoms of coronavirus look a lot like pneumonia symptoms. Those are things like coughing, sneezing, and a fever. I also reached out to the McKinley Health Center. They have been sending updates to students in emails like the one that specified the amount of students who were affected. Now, they said they didn't have any response other than those regular updates that they have been sending out. Reporting live in Urbana, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Courtney, thank you. I know you'll keep us updated on that. Now, there are only two confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Illinois right now. Those are both in Chicago. None are in central Illinois.